Hey travelers, it's Ron from RJT Travels here. Uh, today we're doing just a little video on lost and found items with Frontier Airlines. So stick with us here and we're going to talk all about it. So just to give you a little basic background, I was in Orlando at Orlando Airport um, flying Frontier. I went down to Disney for the weekend, check out Festival of the Arts, and uh, kind of did a little Disney scouting there. So we're in Orlando Airport, and I took a group of people with me. There was four of us total, and one person in our group, he left his wallet on the plane. He had bought some snacks during flight, put it in that uh, that little pocket in the, the seat in front of him there, and then got off the plane and completely forgot it was there. We get through TSA security, uh, downstairs to the rental car uh, area here, and then he looks in his bag and realizes, I left my wallet. So me and him go back up to the ticket counter, and I talk to the first Frontier employee, tell him we left the wallet on the plane, uh, and she just said, there's nothing we can do. And we said, we've literally just gone off the airplane. We know it's there. We, we know it where it was lost and he needs his wallet. You know, we're just getting on vacation. It's got his IDs in it, his credit cards, his cash. And the worst part is when he goes to fly home on Sunday, he won't have his wallet with his ID in it. So we need that wallet. She says, no, there's nothing we can do. We, we, there's nothing uh, you need to just fill out a lost and found form online. So I asked to speak to a supervisor, was like, there's got to be something we can do here. Like, it's in this airport. We know it is. Um, so she said, fine, stand at the end of the counter there, and we'll, we'll call you a supervisor. Five, ten minutes pass, and she was helping other people. Never saw her pick up a phone. Never saw her go in the back. So we weren't sure if we were getting a supervisor or not. So I left my buddy there to stand away for the supervisor, and I had an idea to go downstairs to the baggage services and see if maybe somebody in there might be able to help since they deal with lost luggage and lost things maybe you know maybe that's a good place so i go down and i talk to frontier employee number two employee number two told me the same thing employee number one did but admitted that she was new she wasn't 100 percent sure about the policy so she gave me this little paper again with the lost and found thing on it to go fill out the form uh but to you know she suggested i speak to her coworker here because she is new in training so while I was waiting for the other coworker to get off the phone dealing with another customer, I went on and I did fill out the lost and found form online. And we'll go through that here in a minute. And when you fill out the form, the last thing it tells you is that somebody will be in contact with you if they find the item within three to seven business days. Which again, in this case, really wasn't going to work because the wallet, we, we needed the wallet. So then I get to talk to Frontier employee number three. And when I got to employee number three, she was very nice, said that they don't bring lost items to that. It's a liability that it stays on the back half of the security and will get corralled. And I said, well, I know it's there. I know it's in, you know, we, we know where it's at, what gate it's at. Is there any way to get this wallet? And she said, well, yeah, if you go to the gate, a gate employee would definitely be able to help you. And they would go back and retrieve it and get you your wallet. I said, great. You're helpful, more helpful than the first two Frontier employees that I talked to. I said, but the problem is, how do I get to the gate? Go through security, go back to your gate, pick it up. Okay, but I don't have a boarding pass. We just got off our flight. I'm not getting on a new flight. And then she said, oh, well, you could get a gate pass. And I said, great. What is a gate pass? And she explained it that a gate pass is something an airline can issue uh, to an individual to get through TSA security and get back to a gate. They don't need to be getting on a plane. They just can get back to a gate. And I said, great. How do I get a gate pass? And she goes, well, you have to go upstairs and talk to the ticketing counter and they will issue you a gate pass. Perfect. So I'm like, cool. This is more information than the first two employees gave me, but this we're getting on the right track. It's been about another 15, 20 minutes now. So I'm, I'm up to dealing with this for roughly 30 minutes. Get back up to the gate. Go to talk to employee number four. The girl I talked to originally uh, was helping another customer, but there was another gentleman there. And I walked up to him and I said that... He had left his wallet on the plane, and before I could even finish the sentence, he just shook his head no at me. And I was like, what do you mean? What do you mean no? And he goes, no, we, we won't do anything about this, and pulled out that same piece of paper. And I said, I just talked to a woman downstairs who said to ask for a gate pass, and I can run back and go get the wallet myself. And he says, nope, nope, we won't issue you a gate pass. You know, we, we don't do that. And I said, well, the woman downstairs says you do. So what what's... He goes, no, nope, we don't do that. We won't do that. And I said, can I please speak to a supervisor? And he said, no, the supervisor is going to tell you the same thing. I'm not going to waste her time. And then I got angry because I'm like, 
I'm now dealing with this for almost 40 minutes. This is the fourth Frontier employee I've had to talk to. It's just really getting out of control here, and he needs his wallet. And it's nobody's been able to give me a real reason why. And then after talking to employee number three, I know there's a way to do this. So it's really just being a barrier to be a barrier. So then I said, no, I need to speak to a supervisor and demanded it. And he finally said, okay, fine, I'll go get a supervisor. So go to the end and join my buddy. He goes into the back behind the, the wall there at the ticking counter. Two minutes go by and a woman comes out, definitely dressed like a supervisor, not like the employees in the front. So I was like, okay, we're getting somewhere here. And he goes, or I'm sorry, she goes, uh, you know, what flight were you on? What gate were you at? We gave her the information, our flight number, and we we're at gate 28 and gave her all the information there. No problem. She goes, okay, goes back in the back, comes out two minutes after that, asked my buddy for his full name to confirm. He gave her the name and showed her the, the boarding pass that he had for the flight. She goes, oh, yep, we found your wallet. Perfect. She goes, we found your wallet. It's back at, uh, at your gate here. I can't give you a gate pass, but I'm going to send, and I forget her name, uh, but it was actually the first uh, Frontier employee that I talked to, the one that originally told me, no, there's nothing we can do. We won't do anything. Um, she sent her to go retrieve the wallet. So 45, 50 minutes later, we had this finally resolved to a point and the supervisor sent an employee to go behind TSA and go get the wallet. So it really, <laughs> this scenario was just complete chaos. And just to add icing on the cake, the employee, as she's coming back to us, we waited there for maybe 15 minutes because remember with Orlando, you got to take that monorail back to the gates and then she had to walk all the way to the gate and get the wallet. So I knew it was going to take a few minutes. So add another 15-ish minutes to that. So we're at about an hour now. She comes walking back out of the TSA and her hands are empty. And she looks at us and she goes, I'm sorry, guys. It was actually somebody else's wallet. Uh, they didn't find your wallet. And me and him both looked at each other and then looked at her and like, are you kidding me? Like you confirmed his name, everything else. And then she gets this big grin on her face and goes, oh, gotcha. And pulls the wallet out of, pulls the wallet out of her jacket. Like we had just spent an hour by now. After getting off a plane, after dealing with this headache and dealing with all these employees, including yourself, who gave us no, 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 and then turned out you could help us, um, she goes, you know, oh, your faces were totally worth the walk back there. I'm glad I did this. I was just like rubbing salt in the wound. Like, you know what? We were tired. It was nine o'clock at night by the time we had gotten off our plane. We were dealing with this for an hour. We had gone through all these employees and even yourself, you knew what we were doing and and then you go and pull a prank like that and it was just salt on the wound it really was just like you got to be kidding me so overall what i learned is frontier employees can be very helpful when they want to be that supervisor if i knew her name i only met her like for two minutes at a time for twice if i knew her name i'd give her a shout out on this i'd tweet her out i would write a letter of frontier thanking her because she was extremely nice and extremely helpful and got everything we needed done it was like four minutes she knew what the problem was she knew that we needed a wallet it, you know it's one thing if you're just losing your beats or your airpods or a water bottle something that's immaterial that you can replace something generic i i understand where you're not gonna run back to the gate and get it but this was a wallet with credit cards with a driver's license with cash it had legitimate value and we were flying home on sunday he was gonna have no way to fly home because all of his ids were in that wallet so I learned in this scenario that Frontier employees can be very helpful and very nice when they want to be. Had the first employee said, oh, I'm so sorry, there's really nothing we can do. You need to fill out this lost and found form. I can ask a supervisor and see if maybe there's something that she might be able to do, but this is what we have to do. It probably would have saved us 30, 40 minutes worth of time. She talked to that supervisor, supervisor checks, oh, we have your wallet, send it back and we're on our way. But she, those employees were so quick to just say no, the, the ticket counter ones. The baggage claim, I understand where she said no, but she at least talked out the problem with me and then actually did present a solution. She was helpful. So it, it's when they want to be, they can be very helpful. So I was just really put off by this. Ultimately, we got the wallet. We got out of there. He was able to fly home. So the situation did resolve itself. Um, and it was, it was overall, it was great because we got the wallet back. But the experience I had with this really shed some light on, you know, how helpful an employee can be when they actually want to be. So what I want to show you now is this is the lost and found report 
uh, that they were telling me to fill out over and over. So you, you scan the QR code, or you go to the website here, or you can even Google it. That's how I found it originally, because the first person didn't hand me a form, the second one did. So you find this page, uh, there's a frequently asked questions section, and then there's the report the item left on board. And when you get that, it's just a real simple thing. You drop down what kind of item that it is, tons of different options here. Uh, you select the color that it is or pattern that it is. If there's a tracking device in it, if it has an Apple AirTag, if it has a tile or a smart tag, uh, any kind of uh, tracking device available, and then a tracking ID if it comes with that ID on it. Um, if it has your name on it, like in this case we did because it had a driver's license in it. So we entered his name there. And then there's also anything else that you should know. The other nice thing is you can include photos. So if you have a photo of the item, you're able to share it with them so they can better see what they're looking for. Something simple like AirPods, they're gonna kinda know what it is, but if it's something more unique, maybe a good idea to take a picture of it ahead of time and have it stored on your phone. You know, you never know if it's something more vital or unique to have. And then it's gonna ask you for your contact information so that they're able to get a hold of you. Also, it's gonna ask for your flight information. When was it lost? What flight was it at? What airport did you leave and come from? Your flight number, all this information. And then you hit submit report. Once you submit report, it's gonna give you some basic info like a report number and things like that. It'll send you an email copy of that as well. And then it's gonna tell you, you know, we'll be in contact with you so you can make arrangements. Looking at the FAQ here, uh, there were some very simple questions on here um, about, you know, different things like how long will you search for my item? Uh, they say a thorough search takes 30 days after they received a lost item report. So it could take quite a while for them to look and see if they found your item. Uh, they'll say they'll reach it out to you. You know, it, it's just, uh, you know, just some basic information on it. So, I mean, it's a helpful website. It, it's not a bad thing. Um, you know, like I said, this, this really wasn't a, a bad situation, but it's just like all this effort for something that, that they helped me with real simply. Uh, last thing on this page too is manage my report. You can hit manage report, enter your report ID and the last name on the report, and it'll pull up that report so you can give updates. Like, let's say you thought you left your wallet on the plane. Turns out it was in the bottom of your backpack. You can actually go into that form and say, hey, item found. We actually had to do that. Uh, when they gave us the wallet back, they said make sure to go in and update the form that the item was already found, so we stopped looking for it. So we did. We went in and updated that form. So real simple to manage, real simple to do. Definitely not a hard process, but definitely one that throws up some red flags when they're like you know could take up to 30 days to look for the item we'll get in touch with you within three to seven days after we find the item you could be without your item for 45 days roughly and that's assuming you know you're able to pick it up or get it shipped to you pretty quickly so like i said th this was a situation as simple as it could be it turned out you know it did get itself resolved which was good so i mean ultimately i'm not sitting here to, to try and trash frontier like i said that frontier supervisor was extremely nice extremely helpful and i'm very appreciative of the effort that she gave to get him back as well because it really did make the weekend that much better if he didn't have any of his stuff you know he's gonna have to borrow money from everybody to try and get through the weekend we were gonna have to figure out something probably have to wait till monday to get him flying home because he wouldn't have an id and no governmental office is open on a Sunday afternoon. So it's like this could have been so many more headaches that were avoided just because the employee took four minutes total to make a call, find out they did find the wallet, it's there, and to get somebody to go get it. Like, very extremely helpful to help resolve a very situation. So this isn't to rag on Frontier. I'm very appreciative of what they did. I am upset with the, the ticketing people that I worked with and the girl that decided to make a prank out of it at the end. Like we're already annoyed, we're tired. We spent an hour in the airport trying to track down this wallet and then you pull something like that. That was very upsetting for me. And I, I said to something to her too about that and she just kind of laughed it off and then they just kind of walked away. But I was like, you know, at this point I have the wallet, I'm done. I don't care, <laughs> I wanna get out of this airport. So moral of this story is make sure Check the pocket in front of you. Check your seat when you stand up. Tap your pockets and make sure you got a phone, you got your wallet, you got your keys if you brought keys. Put everything in the front pocket of your backpack or a pocket in your backpack that you know where everything vital is so you can do a quick look. The other thing is too, they had said this would have been so much easier if we had noticed while we were still behind the TSA bubble. The fact that we had gone through the TSA bubble and down to the rental car area and then realized it made it that much harder too. Because if we were still behind the bubble, we could have been able to walk back to the gate ourselves, recover the wallet, and wouldn't have had to talk to a ticketing agent at all. 
So that's the other thing is take two minutes when you get off the plane and you're in the seating area again, you know, you're, you're in that main area, check and make sure you have everything vital, your wallet, your keys, your AirPods, your phone, your tablet, laptop, whatever it is, just double check it while you're still behind that bubble. So that way you can reach back to the gate, you can take care of the problem yourself, and then you don't even have to deal with my situation at all. Unfortunately, it was bad luck. He didn't realize it till there. I'm at least thankful he realized that while we were still in the airport and not like on the rental car bus or in the rental car on the way to the hotel 30 minutes down the road. So at least we were still there to be able to try and recover it. But the whole situation could have been different. So just keep that in the back of your mind. Double check when you get off the plane. But in the event that you do lose something, just know you do need to fill out a lost and found form. And depending on circumstance, apparently Frontier can do things. So it doesn't hurt to ask. It doesn't hurt to go up, ask some simple questions, see who can help you. Because, you know, as I learned, Frontier employees can be very helpful when they want to be. So I hope this was helpful. I hope this kind of made some sense here. And, you know, maybe this helps one of you in the future or at least something that you remember. So you're like, oh, and you don't leave something on the plane. And, and you know, I hope it was helpful. But Otherwise, as always, RGT Travels, fully certified travel agency, would love to help you on your trip. We travel all the time. As you're starting to see more and more videos pop up with us doing trips and doing investigations and flying the different airlines and learning as much as we can about the travel industry. So if you ever have any questions, reach out to us on any of our social media channels. Reach out to us at rgttravels.com. We're always here to help. So until next time, thanks and happy travels.